डैम्स भाटिया मैरो प्रफ्लर और शुड आई स्टडी मैसे इफ यू आर एन इंडियन मेडिकल स्टूडेंट यू वुड आवास दिस क्वेश्चन एट वन पॉइंट दिस वीडियो इज मैंट फॉर दम इफ यू आर नॉट अ मेडिकल स्टूडेंट प्लीज चेक आउट माई अदर वीडियोज क्लिक हियर और लिंक्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑल्सो choosing one is pretty hard and now when more and more players are coming into this field it's going to be even hard so in this video i will try to break down the pros and cons of each of these and i will help you find out which one is meant for you this video is not just my personal opinion i have collected opinions from first years second years third years final years interns people who have attempted pg and didn't get good ranks people who have gotten very good ranks i have collected opinions from all of them and i am giving you a sum up of all that so let's get started for those of you who don't know me i am alamin ashraf a final year medical student at aims bhubaneswar with this channel i mean to alleviate the gap that is there between the medical community and the common man and burst all the myths and misconceptions that they have about health and fitness and help the students who want to become successful doctors in india this video i have broken down into two parts in the first part i will discuss the pros and cons and compare the online mode and the offline mode in the second video i'll be comparing the four big players whom i mentioned in the beginning so let's find out the difference between online and offline let's talk about convenience I will be talking about the online mode first. You can watch these videos when you are traveling to the village for the CMFM visit or when you are on your bed or while eating also you can watch these videos. And you can choose what you want to watch, which topic you want to watch, which year subject you want to watch and at what time and how many hours you want to watch. All that you can decide. So if you want to finish CVS first that means like you will read CVS in anatomy then physio then patho and then in medicine you can do that while in this offline mode the topic is fixed the time table is fixed the timing is fixed and sometimes you will have to bunk your classes not sometimes almost all the times you will have to bunk the fridays and saturdays the postings and the class you have to bunk and sometimes you might be having an end posting and will you bunk that for this class if you don't bunk you will only get this class after around 6 months so if something comes up like someone's marriage is there or you are falling ill then also you will be forced to go to this class because you can't really decide it's not really convenient for you and for this offline course you will have to go to a certain place for that you will have to waste some time and energy so if we talk about convenience online mode fares a bit better than the offline mode now let's talk about finishing portions and the content in the online mode finishing the 19 subjects that's one task that's one big task you might never finish it also it is going to take a lot of time you will have to be consistent with it you will have to watch at least one video a day from the time you take this like if you take for 2 years from the time you take this you will have to watch at least one video a day then only you will be able to finish it while on the other hand in the offline mode you will be finishing all the 19 subjects within 6 months if you attend all the classes within 6 months you will be finishing all the 19 subjects and that's a very very big thing finishing 19 subjects in 6 months and talking about the content the content will be a little bit more in the online mode a little bit less in the offline mode but the offline mode is enough for entrance examinations while the online mode has small content and it can help you in your college exams so when we talk about finishing the portions the offline fares way better than the online ones now let's talk about motivation and focus i will tell you my story i took this online method one online method around a year back i had the 18 months plan so in the beginning when i took it i watched some two three videos like when you get something first that curiosity is there now how it is what it is so i watched some two three videos at that time then during some exams like one or two videos i have watched during this lockdown i thought about it i wasted around 12 to 14 months of sub- subscription without watching much content 
So when I look at it now, I won't be able to finish it within this subscription. I will have to renew one more. Generally, I might be able to. Then I might be able to finish it. So if you are motivated and consistent, then only you can finish the subjects in the online mode. While in the offline mode, you will be motivated. Why is it that so? Because you are paying a bit more money and if you miss that class, you will get only one more chance that also after some six months. So you will be forced to attend that. The sunk cost is very high. So what you do is you will attend it and somehow you will finish it. That motivation will come and your friends will also be going. So you will go with them or something like that. So if motivation is a problem for you, then it's better you choose the offline mode. If you take the matter of focus, like in the online mode, if you are not feeling good, if you are not feeling like drained, if you are not focused enough, you can just stop the video and do something else and come back when you feel refreshed. So you can be at your prime all the time when you are watching the online videos. While in the offline method, you are forced to write the notes, you are forced to attend the class, even if you are sick, even if you are not feeling well, if, even if you are not feeling focused enough, even if your mind is wandering somewhere, you are sitting in the class, you are hearing the stuff and you are writing the notes. So if you take the matter of focus and motivation, motivation, if you have some problem with the motivation, then choose the offline one. And in the matter of focus, I think online fares a little bit better. Now let's talk about the quality of faculties. The quality of faculties are very high, very good in both offline and online. The quality of the faculties are going to be pretty impressive. In the online method, the quality won't change much. But in the offline method, the quality will change with the people in the class. Like if the people are not responding, people are not good enough, then the quality of the teacher also stoops down to that level. While on the online, the quality remains stable. And in the offline mode, like if the teacher is having a bad day, if the teacher is not in a good mood, that can also affect the quality of the teaching on that day. But in the online mode, that problem is not there. So the quality of the faculty is almost similar in both. It might be a little better, little better in the online mode. Now, if we talk about the errors that teachers make in class, in the offline method, the teacher can make an error, like he might tell some facts the other way around to you guys, and you will be taking that note down and you will be reading. And some people will find that it is wrong and he might say to the teacher if there is one more class tomorrow. Otherwise, he won't be communicating it to the teachers. Even if he does, it won't be communicated to the people. But in the online mode, thousands of people are watching the same video. If there is some error, they will let the teacher know and they will add a error. They will add a correction right under the video when that error comes. So error correction will be a little bit more streamlined, streamlined in the online method. And the quality of the faculty is almost the same everywhere, but maybe a little bit better in the online method. But sometimes it will be much better in the offline also. Now let's talk about understanding concepts. In, let's take this scenario. In this online method, you are trying to see videos of CVS from medicine. So halfway through one video, you are not understanding it. Like you need to know the anatomy and physiology more. Then only you will be able to understand that more. You feel like that. So what can you do is you can just pause that video, go to the anatomy section, see the anatomy of CVS and then come to physiology and see the physiology of the CVS. And if you want, you can even watch the pathology of CVS and then come into medicine and read it. If you want concepts to be clear, like I'm not saying you can finish the whole thing. I'm saying like small parts. If you want to check, you can go check that and come or you can do a Google search and find out or watch some two minute YouTube videos and clear your concepts and then resume watching the video. While on the other hand, the offline method, you're sitting in this class, the SAR is going at a pace and 
you are writing the norm if you are not understanding something you can't google search you can't you can't do much all you can do is you might be able to ask the person sitting right next to you if he is your friend you can you might be able to ask him or else you will have to just write that down and go back and then check so you it might be a hindrance for you to clear the concepts better if you are preparing well ahead of the class and then going to the class it will be easier otherwise it's going to be harder because you can't stop the class and go back and read the stuff and come back you can't do that so in the matter of understanding concepts i think offline is a little bit better now let's talk about the study environment and the doubt clearance in the offline method the environment is going to be really competitive like the people who are surrounding you might be way better than you and seeing that you will be forced to work harder you will be taken to the level of them but sometimes it can work in the other way like you might get demotivated and you might stop all of a sudden you might stop altogether while in the offline method there is nothing like this all you can do is you can go and sit in the library and watch other people studying and get motivated from that and study that's all nothing more while on the offline mode that competitive environment is there that is going to help you not everyone that is going to help some people a lot and the matter of doubt clearance if you have some doubt you can ask the faculty directly in the offline class you can ask the faculty directly and he will clear it then and there itself while on the other hand if you have some doubt about what the faculty is telling and you couldn't find it out in the internet or referring to other books you are not clear and after referring to other books still you are not clear if you want to ask that faculty you will have to send a mail and to get a response it will take at least two days so clearing the doubts and environment that's much much better in the offline environment i feel now i will talk about something that people seldom discuss money so the offline method you will be having to pay around 35 to 40000 rupees for one and a half years while in the offline mode you will be paying anything above 75000 for the one year program and the transportation charges you will have to go to that place right so for that the if you are using your own vehicle then the petrol charges or if you are using some other transportation then that charge and on top of it the food that you are going to be eating there that money so everything adds up it will go uh, above 1 lakhs always while on the other hand like this offline you can if you are motivated enough you can finish it in one and a half years and it will take around 40000 at max that's all so in the matter of money the online method is much cheaper so now let's talk about which one is meant for whom if you are not a motivated person if you are not consistent in your efforts then online method is not for you choose the offline method if you have some financial difficulties choose the online one the offline one is not for you if you don't fare better in a competitive environment that pressure and stress is going to take you down then choose the online one but on the other hand if you study more if you you will work harder when there is competition then choose the competitive option if you are a person who studies better from the lectures of your teachers and in the clinics then it will be better to take the online method because most of the time you will be having to bunk the classes for the offline method if you are a person who has study the first and second year subjects well then i would say go for the offline one because like you already have the concepts it will be easier for you to understand the things and everything will finish in 6 months so choose the offline one. and if you are a person who didn't study much in the first and second years then choose the online one build the concepts and study so if you are a person who has enough money to afford both online and offline then join for an offline course and keep the online one as a backup if you are not able to understand something in the offline one come back and watch the video in the online one no don't just mix it up use both in a synergistic way i guess this makes it clear for you guys which one you should choose that's all for this video in the next video i will be comparing the four big players that i have mentioned in the beginning 
If you like what you see, leave a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you will know when I will be releasing the next video. And comment below why you chose a specific method of coaching and if I have missed something, comment that also below. Bye, till we meet again.